this video, I'm gonna show you guys the brand new PC that I built to edit my YouTube videos. Welcome back to this channel, my name is Tjam and I'm excited about this video and I hope you guys are too because I'm going to be sharing with you every detail that went into me building my brand new PC to edit my YouTube videos. And before we get started, every part that's in my build will be linked in this video's description so you guys can check it out for yourselves and this video is not sponsored by any particular brand of any particular part that is in my build right i really really just want to share it with you guys so i hope you enjoy now for those of you who don't know i'm an it student i went to university and studied it yes i have an it bachelor's degree and I even have an associate's degree in computer servicing and electronics. So I love this kind of stuff. My family members always told me that when I was a kid, I used to always enjoy taking apart my toys and seeing what's inside them and then trying to put them back together. It doesn't matter how new that toy was. I'd always find a screwdriver and open that toy. And when I put them back together, they may or may not have been destroyed after that. I also remember that when we were younger, my cousin and I, when we got our first computer, I think it was about 1999 or coming into 2000, but I can't forget, my grandmother got a computer for her 30 plus years of service at her workplace. And she told us that she had decided to get the computer because the choice was between a computer or a TV and she got the computer because she told us that she thought that the computer would be of more benefit to us as kids growing up and it was and I really appreciate that choice grandma thank you very much and that same computer that we loved so much when that started giving problems I remember that I did not hesitate <laughs> to pull that computer apart and looked inside and I didn't know what was wrong with it. I just knew that, hey, the first thing you have to do is pull it and go inside and just start unplugging things and plugging them back in. So uh, that's that that's where my story started with my love for computers and IT. No, what you guys are waiting for my brand new PC build. Um, my first PC, well, the last PC that I built, I built it in September 2015, but I started ordering the parts from summer 2014. So over the course of a year, I was ordering the parts to like build my this computer that I wanted to build, right? But at the time in 2015, I didn't do as much research. I wasn't as intentional in my buying of parts. I was just buying because, hey, I didn't have a good computer. I knew I preferred having a desktop versus a laptop because I'm just that kind of guy. I'm a desktop guy. So I was just ordering the parts just for ordering sake. But this time when I was building this PC, um, you know, back then I was way younger. I knew less then than I knew now. So now I started doing more research about the kind of parts that I wanted to put in my computer, you know, the specs that I wanted. I started doing, I started asking my friends who I knew had recently built um, desktop computers for themselves, you know, what GPUs they got, what CPUs they got, what kind of enclosures did they build their computers in. So I just did a lot of research this time and I and then I intentionally like ordered my particular parts because I knew I wanted the best performance. My last desktop, it was great. We've done so many projects together. I've edited so many jobs and even my first set of YouTube videos here on this channel, I've edited on that computer and that computer has done me so well but i got to the point where i to export like a 15 minute video like last year was really taking long i had to like set my computer overnight to export and then when i woke up in the morning it would still not be done so i was like this is taking way too long and it's affecting the kind of videos that i can make i was trying to make a premiere pro the wedding the wedding trailer video that i just released i was trying to make that video from a year and a half ago and i couldn't because my computer was just struggling you know recording the screen of me editing video my computer was just struggling so i was like all right 
that's the last straw I need to build a computer. All right, so here it is. This is my brand new computer and I hope you guys like the look of it. I went for the black NZXT enclosure with the red trim inside. It's much smaller than my current enclosure and I didn't mind sizing down to something smaller. Now this case has some pretty decent fans that it came with, but they're not LEDs because I didn't get the LED version of the case. So I replaced the fans with the Corsair AF120s. I had blue before in my previous PC build, but because this PC enclosure had the red trim, I just got the red version of these Corsair fans. My motherboard, previously I had the Gigabyte Z97X Gaming 3, and now I have the Gigabyte B550. And compared to my previous board, my previous board was an Intel board. This board now is an AMD board. My power supply unit, I sticked with Corsair. Previously I had the 750 watt, and now I got the 850 watt, the 2021 version, because I knew I'm gonna be putting better parts in my computer so i wanted a bigger power supply just a little bit bigger just to manage the load of everything now my gpu my graphics card this was what i bought first last year in august 2021 it was the most expensive part in this build and previously i had the gigabyte gtx 650 and i decided to stick with gigabyte that was a four gigabyte card and for my new build i got the gigabyte gtx 1660 and it's a six gigabyte card so i like gigabyte it's cool it was the brand that i used mostly in my first build i didn't have any problems with it so i thought hey i'm gonna stick with gigabyte they're cool right now my cpu my last build as i mentioned was an intel build i had an i5 processor with four cores but this build as i mentioned is an amd build so i have my amd ryzen 5 5600x that's a six core cpu for my rams i also stuck with corsair this time last time i had the corsair vengeance 32 gig the i had the 1600 megahertz version as i mentioned i didn't do a lot of research and when one of my friends who is also an it expert asked me what kind of rams i had in my old computer last year i told him and he's like that's the lowest version you could get. And I told him that I wanted to upgrade and he was telling me that I should get like the, the, the 3200 megahertz or higher. And I was like, no, that's too expensive. But he's like, yes, you need it. You want the power. And he was so upset with me. And then I thought, I thought hey, he's right. I need the power, right? I need the speed. So I need to get the best version of these RAM sticks I can get. And they're not even the highest version in terms of megahertz, but they're much better. They're twice as better as the last ones that I had. Now for my hard drives, my last build, I just had a Western Digital black hard drive, a one terabyte as my primary OS drive with a bunch of random externals onto it. And for this build, I decided to go SSD, right? So I have a Hynix one terabyte SSD as my OS drive, and I have a 500 gig SSD, um, a Samsung drive as my live work drive. So all my edits that I'm currently working on is on that 500 gig right and then for my externals i have like two toshiba eight terabytes one inside the computer and one inside an external enclosure and i have a couple of western digital blues those are six terabytes for my backups as well and one of those is inside the computer and one is in my external hard drive, a dual bay external hard drive, right? And for my monitor, I haven't upgraded it yet. I'm still using my same monitor from 2015, which is an Asus 27 inch monitor, but because so much has changed in technology and it's been seven years since I bought this monitor, I recommend a new one so you can check the link in the description for that brandy new monitor and it's a Dell, which will be my next buy when I'm upgrading this current monitor, right? And for my keyboard and mouse, I'm using a Corsair keyboard, the Corsair K55 RGB gaming keyboard with my Logitech mouse. I've had those almost two years now. They've been working just fine for me, so I haven't had no reason to upgrade those. And those are the wired versions, not the wireless versions. And they have that good, sweet RGB option that we all love, right? And my keyboard and my mouse permanently lives on my Corsair gaming mousepad. I didn't even realize that I have so many Corsair parts, but again, this video is not sponsored and that's it. That's it for my brand new PC build. These are what I'm using every day to make my YouTube videos and to edit my client work, whether it's photography or video editing. So 
let me know what you guys think what do you think of my new pc build do you have any recommendations for future builds or anything that i can upgrade in my current build to make it perform even better remember the links to everything that we discussed in my new build will be in this video's description so be sure to check that out as well thank you thank you so much for watching this video once again my name is cjam and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.